In a shocking turn of events, OpenAI Sora seemed to have leaked on the internet. Not just the videos of Sora, but looks like there was an endpoint that was given to artists for their exploration or early testing, we don't know what it is, and that endpoint had leaked. At this point of this video recording, the endpoint has been shut down, obviously, and people have claimed that any discussion related to OpenAI Sora on OpenAI Discord has been banned as a topic. So in this video, I'm going to share everything that I know about what has happened with OpenAI Sora leak. And in fact, if you have not seen the demos, we're going to see a couple of demos and then wonder if this is like worth leaking altogether at all. So let's get started with the video. I came across this tweet and from this tweet, I went to this uh, Hugging Face uh, Spaces where uh, it's been created by a team called PR Puppets and then the space name is called PR Puppet Sora. So what is this tweet? The tweet is saying actually that OMG, OpenAI Sora has been leaked. It's free to use on Hugging Face and link in the comment. And it says that it can be shut down anytime. You can generate 1080p full HD video. This is 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution. And you can generate up to 10 seconds. And there are like nine examples that we can see. So how do we verify whether this is supposedly the real one? If you go to the Hugging Face spaces and click files, and then from there, if you go to app.py file, then you would notice immediately that there is an open AI endpoint. So you can see that there is a URL endpoint and you can go generate the video there. But at this point, it is not available. So I'm going to just paste the link there. You will not see anything there. Uh, missing bearer authentication in the header. So technically, it seems like the endpoint was available. The endpoint is not available anymore for you to use. Anyways, the point here is that, okay, if you happen to believe that this was Sora, what is happening here? Now what is happening here is, this is what is happening here. At the time of this recording, there are 497 people have signed a petition on internet. And this says, Dear Corporate AI Overlords, we received access to Sora with the promise to be early testers, Red Teamers, Creative Partners. However, we believe instead of we are being lured into art washing to tell the world that Sora is a useful tool for artists. See, first of all, I'm quite surprised. If you sign up for any beta testing, I get, I, uh, because I've got this YouTube and other things, I get to be part of these kind of initiatives. There are many initiatives where we go as a beta tester. We test it, give them feedback. Most of the times it is not a paid engagement. It's just because I am interested in it. And also somebody is interested in my feedback. It's just mostly like a mutual interest. I know companies make money out of it. Like for example, if I give feedback to a company, they make money out of it. If I make a video out of it, they make money out of it, but we don't get paid most of the times. So like for most of the videos that I make, I don't get paid other than Google AdSense. And only if it is sponsored video, I get to make some money. And which is in this case, I would say that this is a paid promotion. On that particular note, I get to be part of early beta tested for a lot of things. And the same way, somebody had voluntarily signed up to be a beta tester, which now they say, that they believe that this is art washing. I don't know now how ethical it is for you to sign up for something voluntarily and then say that, you know, this is not I signed up for. Like, we are not your free bug tester, peer puppets, training data, validation token. This is exactly what you would have signed up for. This is the first thing. Artists are not your unpaid R&D. I understand the frustration here, but I cannot like comprehend why this is the case, which in this case, they shouldn't have signed up in the first place. Anyways, hundreds of artists provide unpaid laid, uh, paid labor through bug testing. I mean, I've also felt the same thing. There are a lot of companies I've made a lot of videos about. Sometimes the models that were available, sometimes even before the model were available to public use, hardly any money. So I've, fe I've felt it. I can understand it. Feedback, experimental work for the program that is valued at $150 billion valued company. While hundreds contribute for free, a select few will be chosen through a competition to have their Sora created films screened, offering minimal compensation, which pales in comparison to substantial PR and marketing value OpenAI receives. Denormalize billion dollar brands exploiting artists for unpaid R&D and PR. There are a lot more in, um, information available there. You can go read about it. Very surprisingly, uh, the same uh, space also mentions a couple of open source alternatives like Cog Video X. Moshi 1.1, I don't know if I covered Moshi, but I covered LTX video. So these are like some open source tools people are, exp uh, I mean, at least these protesters or whoever is disappointed with OpenAI has mentioned that this is an option. 
At the time of this recording, there are 497 people signed this saying that dear corporate AI overlords, and they don't want to be slave or lured into art washing. Now this is this is basically the spaces. So they leaked this endpoint that was given to them in private, and uh, they leaked it because they were pissed off. They were upset with OpenAI, and they said, "Okay, I'm going to give this endpoint to everybody, so everybody can go ahead and then use this." And what has happened is since then, of course, like any company, as they would do, they have taken down the endpoint, and the endpoint is not available anymore. So you cannot go click generate Sora and then do it. But because it has been leaked and uh, you can see a lot of people already started archiving the videos and uh, the videos are uh, available on uh, Hugging Face even. You can like go here and then see, um, I mean, this, I don't know whether the zip is available or not. Only catch is that any zip that you download on the internet, be careful, people might put malware inside it. Uh, Hugging Face has got some kind of a pickle scanning, a file scanning, but still I would say that be careful whatever you download from internet. Now, if you happen to believe that this is Sora, this was actual Sora, there is a twist that a lot of people are saying that this is not the actual version of Sora Sora. This is a turbo version of Sora, which was supposed to be the faster version of Sora. That means it did not have the highest quality. And also because this was leaked as part of beta testing, some of this video look ridiculous, actually like not to the best that you would expect from OpenAI, to be honest because there are like a lot of other models that are like really good these days. So I don't, I don't even get the point why this is like a big deal if it has been leaked. But anyways, some demos are like quite insane. So this is, this is a demo, uh, a baby, a baby is swimming. And uh, just like Minimax or a Hilo, you can see the Sora watermark at the bottom right corner. And uh, this is, uh, this is a baby. So the next one, another demo, this is like a dog, Corgi, I don't know. Um, jumping across uh, the snow and all the other things. With the cat one, I had a very interesting uh, thought. Like it almost looks like when the cat starts, you cannot see the right leg or the right paw of the cat. And it almost feels like the cat is like um, physically challenged, but still it managed to jump. But the cat looks natural. Um, I don't know what you call this, the cat's mus mustache. It looks very nice and uh, I don't know what you call for cat. Humans, you call it a mustache for cat. I don't know what is it. It looks nice. The eyes are nice. The tail is nice. But um, yeah, again, like it's it's not like mind blowing. This was good uh, to be honest. Like the camera effect is good. Like there is a zoom in camera effect. The burger seems good. But other than that, um, it's like a McDonald's burger ad. Uh, if you say that this is a McDonald's burger ad, it would take me some time to actually feel and realize that this is AI generated. It looks pretty good. This is um, okay, okay. Um, I mean, the color combination, the strawberry and everything is fine, but not like the best AI generated video that you can find like natural. This is, I think, one of the best ones, I would say, because the ripple effect in the water, the sunlight there, and uh, the swan probably, and all these things are like, um, the reflection, everything looks like particularly good. And it, it, it makes a compelling case that this is probably not AI generated. And this one looks very artificial, uh, could, could be easily classified as AI generated. The monkey trying to play with the toy, again, looks very natural primarily because there is the sunlight coming in, there is this shadow and uh, the fur on monkey, I don't know. If anybody of you have actually worked with 3D Max, 3D Studio Max or Maya, um, I mean, I, I remember back, back in the day, like during my graduation, I was obsessed with this 3D softwares. And to create this kind of a fur effect back in the day, it used to be really hard. One is to create the fur effect itself. The second one is to render these things. It used to take a lot of compute. I mean, I'm talking about like when we had like uh, older missions, like Pentium 4, that kind of an era. And uh, this is, amazing like for me to see that this is a monkey and this is like maybe generated in a few hours or a few minutes um from an api endpoint is quite insane to believe and this is like probably one of my favorites there and again there is a cat and on a robotic uh, vacuum cleaner and finally there is this human thing and um, again like i would say there is always something very weird happening with the dimensions and physics of the world uh, here, but the man looks like very natural in this case, the old man at least. I know Halo and Minimax does a particularly good job of this. Overall, 
if you show me these things like i know when sora was released i was like one of those people who were like particularly mind blown but if you show this to me like in november 2024 with the uh, kling 1.5 with the uh, moshi um and with um, you know ltxv and or ltxv i guess and uh, with all the other models like halo particularly and all the other models like luma luma labs dream machine i w- i i'm not like mind blown maybe like my benchmark has changed like the baseline has changed but uh, if this is what as something that they decided to leak and protest i don't know what is the value of it but also if this is what is sora like how is it going to replace hollywood and uh, what kind of movies that they are planning to make i don't know but overall it looks good uh, if open ai is going to release sora um, um I- i'm still a chat gpt plus subscriber very recently i resubscribed i don't know if they're going to give it to me for free but uh, let me know what you feel about it um, this this entire debacle whether it is even really open ai or uh, like somebody is trying to pull off a marketing stunt i have no clue i you know it could be like one another company saying that hey we all pranked you uh, this is our new technology but it's it's just the watermark that makes me also believe that this is sora and uh, let me know what do you think about it um, generally about the leak and the quality of the videos if this is something that blows your mind thinking that this is something astonishing um see you on another video happy prompting